Guys, before the video starts, I've got another channel that I've actually been doing wrestling content on. I'm uploading loads nowadays because I'm uploading on this channel and that channel. So if you want more content from me, more wrestling content, I'll leave a link to that channel in the description. I'm trying to hit 2,000 subscribers on it. Help me get there, give it a subscribe, and check out the videos on there. Anyway, on to this video. Jordan Grace is one of the best women's wrestlers in the world today. Not only that, but she is an absolute machine. She adopted the nickname of Thick Mama Pump, which is obviously inspired by Big Papa Pump, Scott Steiner. So like, her and Scott Steiner teaming up is just like the most fantasy booking team of all time. How awesome would that be? Could you imagine that? Well, you didn't have to imagine it because they have teamed up before as well as with P.T. Williams and they have had three matches together. Team Pump. We're watching all three of them today. We're going to talk about them. What's going on, guys? It's Tom Watson Wrestling, and welcome to a video talking about when Scott Steiner met Jordan Grace. Before we get into it, though, only a small percentage of you watching these videos are subscribed, so make sure to subscribe if you do enjoy the video, but let's get right into it. Hey, this is your Olympic hero, Kurt Angle, and you are watching Top 10 Wrestling. Oh, it's true. It's damn true. Match number one, P.T. Williams, Jordan Grace, and Scott Steiner, who nearly falls trying to get on the middle rope, and also gets on the mic and says that he's going to have two or three freaks following him back to his hotel, and tells the snowflakes to Google Steiner maths, then cuts the maths promo where he mentions Jordan Grace as his X-Factor, then spanks her, and then rambles about sex and drugs. Awesome Scott Steiner promo. They're up against Jervis Cottonbelly, Ryan Taylor, and Dickie Mailer, and they are at Impact Unbreakable 2019. Petey Williams and Ryan Taylor start off. They do some basics before Jordan Grace and Jervis are tagged in. Now this is a showdown. Jervis shakes her hand, but that backfires as she tries to get him to say uncle, and then Jordan Grace proceeds to destroy Jervis, who even tries to give her flowers, what a gentleman, but it ends with him being chokeslammed, and then she tags in Steiner to a huge pop and a huge ovation, are we even surprised? He's in there with Dickie Mayer, who Scott slowly beats down, and Dickie just gets absolutely no offense in before he tags Maple Leaf Muscle back in. And the match from there just becomes a bit of your regular tag match from there, with you know everyone in the heel team kind of getting their shit in on PE before chaos ensues as Scott Tyner is hot tagged and everybody gets in the ring. Grace dives to the outside, but then his scissor kicked by Taylor goes to the top rope, but he is met by Steiner, and we all know what's coming next if you're being met at the top rope by Steiner. Scott Steiner slowly but surely hits the Frankensteiner to a huge pop. Meanwhile, PE hits the Canadian Destroyer on Jervis, and Jordan Grace hits the Grace Driver on Mayer. They all lock in the Steiner recliner, and all three tap simultaneously. The fans are going absolutely nuts. What a great finish, and just a fun little novelty match. So this match right here would be the one time we'd see Scott Steiner, Jordan Grace, and Petey Williams team in Impact. Because the next two matches we are going to be talking about from a different promotion that I've never talked about on the channel before. We're going to be talking Chikara. Oh, also, uh, at the end of the match, Steiner spanks Jordan Grace again. Nice one, Scott. Good stuff. Match number two from Chikara, King of Trios, Night 2. Team Pump up against Nick Gage, Chris Statlander, and Thomas Santel. Good lord, what a star-studded match. They go by the name NDK. What a star-studded match. I need to see Scott Steiner and Nick Gage in the ring together. Oh my god. The match starts off with Santel and P.E. taking off and swapping glasses, and now neither of them can see, so they swap them back. Uh, Scott Steiner probably has no idea what's going on here. Thomas and P.E. have a really nice technical matchup, and I get really good stuff, but I'll also be real, this is probably the last combination of wrestlers I want to see in the ring. I want to see Grace and Gage, or Steiner and Gage, or Steiner and Chris Statlander. But I'm not gonna play. I'm not gonna complain because these guys had great chemistry against each other, and they were really good against each other. Steiner is tagged in, and he takes it to Santel, and they go outside as Steiner and Santel go backstage. Grace and Statlander are tagged in, and I'm excited for this. These two have a brilliant encounter, proper hot shit. Meanwhile, Nick Gage gets in and starts beating down Petey Williams, and then baseball slides Grace, who hits a fan's knee, which is so brutal. 
Nick Gage gets weapons involved because of course he does. And then he goes face to face with Steiner. But we don't see anything. It was a tease. Steiner then gets in it with Statlander, which is the match I never knew I needed. And he looks to lock in the recliner on Chris Statlander. But then finally, MDK Nick Gage comes out, stares off with Scott Steiner. And we're finally going to get pop, Big Papa Pump versus MDK. They start scrapping outside as Statlander accidentally kicks him. And it kind of descends into chaos as Grace takes out Gage with a dive. And we didn't really get to see much Gage versus Steiner. Which is a bit disappointing. They didn't have an amazing encounter, the two of them. Uh, in the end though, it's a finisher melee before Steiner locks the recliner on Santel and he taps. It's a decent match, which I thought suffered a lot from legal man syndrome. Until I found out in the next match that apparently tags can be made if... You could just enter the ring while the legal person is out the ring. Okay, I don't really understand that. I'm not sure I like it, but I guess it's there. This match also lacked a lot of Jordan Grace action, which I wanted to see. So hopefully we get more of that in match number three. Match number three, Team Pump versus Adam Hoffman, Jack Bonza, and Mick Moretti. No clue who any of them are. Um, they're all Australian based from what I found out. And this is from Chikara King of Trios 2019 Night 2. It is the King of Trios quarter final. Steiner gets a mic but PE takes him off him before we can get a word in. Because we do not want to give Scott Steiner a live mic. Then Grace gets a swear jar from under the ring. And they tell Steiner he owes a lot of money. He's so baffled by all of this. But he does pay up as he puts some spare change in there. Then he puts some notes in as PE demands more. The crowd crowd demand more and Steiner just throws in the whole wallet and the crowd goes wild and chant that they forgive him. Cool. Jordan Grace and Bonza I think start off uh, and they do about a hundred hip toss reversals and this was the match I learned in that in Chikara a tag counts if one team member leaves the ring and a new one just enters the ring. You know you don't have to make an actual tag. Those rules are still in place but tags can be made that way. I'm not too sure how I feel about that but I'll probably get used to it if I watch more Chikara, which I don't know if I will. I'm rambling. So while I'm not a fan of the tag rules, Scott Steiner coming in and taking out all the Aussies, bound that, I am a fan of. And in this match, we got to see more of Steiner, which I definitely am a fan of. And also in this match, they keep the swear jar in the corner, uh, just in case. Um, I'm quite a fan of Adam Hoffman, this guy from this match. I thought he'd been decent. Uh, also in this match, we saw more Jordan Grace, which I'm definitely a fan of. Mick Moretti gets in and destroys Petey and Jordan in an awesome sequence. And though he does botch a top rope clothesline, it still ends up looking cool. And then Jordan Grace hits the pounce, which she needs to do that as her finisher. Uh, before she runs into a huge spine buster. Please, Jordan Grace, do the pounce more. That looked incredible from you. There's a triple recliner locked in, and I thought this would be it, but they all get out of it. They hit a cutter on Steiner, then hit some cool triple team offense on him, then hit their trio's finisher called the Nation Bomb to pin PE and win the match here. This is a great match, probably the best one I watched today, and I think I'm, I'm a fan of the Nation. I want to see more of them after this. I want to look at... Uh, Bonza and Moretti and Hoffman because they they all seemed really decent and I thought they worked really well together But yeah good match here and overall I, I enjoyed the two Chikara matches as a whole if I had to rank these three matches I would put the nation match number one then the match against Jervis and Mayer and Taylor number two Then the first round uh, Chikara match with Gage uh, Mella is it Thomas Mella something I forgot his name already and Chris Statlander but I definitely want to see more of Scott Steiner and Jordan Grace's antics. I'd love to see them more together. Uh, and I'd love to see Petey Williams do some more stuff with them too. Petey Williams and Scott Steiner, seeing them together is so surreal. Because obviously they used to be a team in like 2007 TNA. So it's so awesome seeing them together. But yeah, that was when Scott Steiner met Jordan Grace. A very different type of video on the channel. I've got some cool videos coming out soon. So stay tuned for them. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Check out my podcast, Twitter, Instagram second channel all that link down below i'll see you all soon subscribe if you did enjoy with notifications on comment what you want to see next goodbye and keep on rolling